Yes, yes, yes. Oh my word. Oh, Kali, Kali. Oh, Lali's. Beautiful Lepidus. She might call again. She might call again, yeah, Hotla Lamba. So she's a <coughs> she's a, pretty much one of our dominant females that we do get around here on Juma. <coughs> As um oh, she's gonna call. See, she's sitting right up in this fork of this marula tree. Now, why is she calling like that? I'm not too sure. Maybe she's trying to call more whitey. Maybe she's trying to get the attention of the male leopard. Now, remember, more whitey wasn't seen too far south from where we are now. Yesterday morning with that kill in Chitwa. Now you can see she's right on top. Thanks to those hyenas. And actually, thanks to her that she, was, she called a little bit earlier. So we could at least try and find this leopard. Here comes our hyena. Watch the hyena's coming. <laughs> She's just watching. <laughs> She's just watching this hyena. Sorry about the pole there. Got the rain roof on. Uh, Wild at Hearth, she, no, she's, uh, this is Mbiru at the bottom. Quickly uh, information on that one. But uh, Wild at Hearth, no, she, this is more Whitey's territory. This is uh, the big male. Mawati, this is his territory, so she's in his territory. So if there is the ma a male that's going to approach her here now, with her with calling like that, it's going to be Mawati. Sounds like a flat battery at the end there with hyena calling. <laughs> Screenshots. Click, 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 click with my eyes. I see some black wildebeest now running through. They are really stampeding through here. I just wonder if they pick up the scent of the lions in conjunction with the strong wind uh, is making them stampede a little bit. See that? All in a straight line. Very nice and organized. There we go. Just settling in the middle of the open area, which is normal. Very normal. If they ever suspect that they're in danger, they'll head off straight to the middle of the open areas. And that way they can really look out for danger. And there's even more wildebeest coming. My goodness, there's a lot of them here. There's a few young calves. So 
wonder how many in total here. Phew. Right, so they've come to one of the pans here. They've had a drink of water and they seem to be incredibly active. Oh, there's some red hearted beasts coming straight towards them. Okay, let's just watch here. They're in full stalk mode now. Now bear in mind that there are some red hearted beasts walking straight towards these lions now. And the lions are in a lying down position and others are stalking. So something could happen here. If any of you are sensitive, please take note of that. Oh man, look at this. There's a bit of a charge going. Red hearted beast scattering off. So you should get some red hearted beast in view now and you can see the sort of the antelopes that they they're interested in. There they are. So the element of surprise is totally gone. So yeah, <laughs> I think this lion is more curious than anything now. I don't think it's going to be able to hunt anything when these antelopes are fully aware because the whole idea about lions being really successful in their hunts is having that element of surprise hence the reason why they do well at hunting at night when it's dark and nothing can see them that well <laughs> oh man this is cool what a screenshot that'll be Oh, I was just laid down there. Check them out. Yeah, look at these two having a good time playing. Oh, just got smacked in the face. Uh, they've been doing this uh, since we've been watching them. They've been running all over the show, jumping on each other. Look at that one line has totally disappeared. Gives you a good appreciation for how they can conceal their bodies in even some shorter grass. Oh, well, this grass is fairly long. <laughs> you just see the tail flick. 